start with, we're going to draw a neuron or a nerve cell. The first part is going to be the cell body. This is the largest section of that neuron where we're going to find the nucleus. So first, I'll draw in the nucleus. That's gonna be this round. Stores hereditary information for the cell. Now the cell body will be very large and take up a space around said nucleus. We're gonna add a little bit more color to it. So now our cell body has a pretty good shape around that nucleus. And the cell body is going to be that largest section of the neuron. And coming off of the cell body, we're going to see a lot of short, unmyelinated dendrites. These guys right here. Now all of these small processes are used for a sensory function. So we're gonna have inputs coming in to these dendrites from all over. It may be from another neuron. It may instead be from a sensory receptor, but inputs come into these dendrites. Now, if the signal is coming in from another neuron, it's going to have what is called a synapse. Now, a synapse is the end of one neuron coming and attaching to these dendrites. So that would be a synapse. This would be a synapse. This one right here, we'll put another one in. All right, so those are all synapses that are attaching to our dendrites. More features to those dendrites. Add a little bit of color to that neuron in the middle. Sorry, the nucleus. All right, we'll paint the nucleus with blue. Now, an interesting feature that we see in our neurons is there are what are called nesyl cell bodies, which are small granules of protein located all throughout the cell body. So we'll just draw a couple in. We see these granules on our lab models as well. Let's so draw those all in. Okay. So up to now, we've drawn the cell body of a neuron, the nesyl bodies, the nucleus, the short branching dendrites, and the axon terminals of other neurons that have come and attached to these dendrites. Now when an impulse comes down the axon and goes into our neuron here, all of those impulses are going to gather together in what is called the axon hillock. Now the axon hillock, we'll paint it right here. If we get enough of these impulses, it's going to activate in the axon hillock. They've all gathered there. And it shoots off down the axon. Now, this axon is going to go down and connect to another neuron or connect to a muscle cell. And the axon itself, add a little more blue, it's going to be very long. And this could be an axon that runs all the way down to your fingertips. Now this axon, in order to allow the impulse to continue to travel, is going to be covered in myelin by Schwann cells. So we, here we paint some of those Schwann cells. Another Schwann cell. Another Schwann cell. Now these cells have gaps in between them called the nodes of Rainvier. 